discuss the fluid and electrolyte management in a patient with a gastric outlet obstruction salient points in pre operative preparation of this patient now this question has been discussed previously also the fluid electrolyte problems that will be of concern for all of us will be dehydration number 1 number 2 is metabolic alkalosis number 3 hypokalemia number 4 hyponatremia number 5 hypochloremia severe metabolic alkalosis will end up with something called paradoxical uh paradoxical acid acidotia urea lastly will be associated with hypo calcemia i think we have had an extensive class by dr sanjay devakshi on this one uh it is the first one describe the fluid you are required to make the chart about what are the renin angiotensin mechanism of these ones this has been discussed in the theory in the devakshi's class now what are the important pre operative preparation points this is for four marks the pre operative preparation point is correction of fluid and electrolyte problems the fluid of choice is normal saline the requirement of normal saline is based on the blood pressure of the patient and the urine output predominantly estimation of the serum sodium and chloride is a marker but urine output is a better clinical marker the addition of potassium chloride is done if the potassium is gone less than 2.5 mL per liter now if potassium chloride is added it is at the rate of 1 mg per kg per day so this is all things that are done the second point in pre operative preparation is a gastric lavage and gastric lavage is done with normal saline at room temperature not cold the wash is given with the rails tube inserted till the effluent becomes clear that's it what are the advantages of giving a gastric lavage advantage number 1 it removes the food debris advantage number 2 decreases the mucosal edema advantage number 3 decreases the gastritis advantage number 4 restores the tonicity so this is all about things that you are required to know in that